We've done 28 haunted episodes of Beyond the Dark, but never once have we explored a haunted ship like this before. Markham wanted this boat specially to go to the Antarctic for expeditions. Before they left, one of the guys decided that he was going to go up to the middle mast and fell to his death. They went on their expedition. They got stuck there for two years. Two, two years. years? A lot of them died. A lot of them died, but we don't know how. Markham died. He was reading a book in his bed, and then the candle lit his bed on fire. Maybe okay. we can talk to the captain and potentially figure out what happened to the crew. Oh! I just woke up this morning walking around the bed. I just saw a shot. It, it is the crew. crew. It, is, it is the crew. Oh! Both are going to red! Catball and the K2 going off yeah. at the same time. Rampot! Yes! Rampot! I can hear it. There's nobody in this room with me. This is why we ghost hunt. Yeah, like things like that. This is the proof that there right. is an afterlife. We've done 28 haunted episodes of Beyond the Dark, but never once have we explored a haunted ship like this before. This is one for the books. Now, I don't know how haunted this place is. Some people say it's not. Some people say it is. I am ready to explore this for myself. What more can we ask for? The first ship of its kind being a vessel to scale and explore through the Arctic, smashing through the icebergs. The people and the captain of the ship back in the day risked their lives to go up there and explore. And I love exploring, so I'm honoring them on this one. We're gonna investigate hard on the ship. At first, because the weather's bad, it is super windy, we are gonna mostly explore inside the ship. Down in here. In the inside, it's really nice. But I do want to give a tour on the outside before we get down there, guys. It is still a beautiful ship. It's crazy because we're literally in Dundee. I think that's what this place is called in Scotland. The boat is now parked here. And you can visit this boat too. It's actually a museum now, but we rented out the whole boat till three in the morning. We're gonna be exploring it. The whole crew is already on the ship exploring. They're all super excited to be here. Again, this is an honor. I've even watched a few shows on the RSS Discovery. This history and everything's cool because it's like the first of its kind. Like I said, I'm excited. I'm more excited to explore than actually go some, but then again, I do want to go some. I'm very curious, so let's go get the walkthrough on and, and get this going. I'm just, like I said, woo! Had a lot of black coffee before this video, I'm not gonna lie. All right, here we go. Going on full blast. I mean, check this out. It's, it is bigger in person. I think it looks bigger than what I'm showing you, but again, it's still something cool. Downstairs looks amazing. So, crazy fact about this place. There's been three deaths on the ship. One of them was actually someone that actually fell from the top down to the bottom. 22 dogs have even died on the ship and there's been like rumors that they've been roaming through the halls and barking and things like that. I mean, we're about to be pirates. Pirates sailing, scoring through the ocean seas. Seth! Yo, what up, Josh? This place is nuts. Dude, I'm on the bridge. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. This is where they would control the boat, bro. Oh, I gotta get up there then. Yeah, come on over. Hoist the anchors! Whoa, there is, there is the control part. Dude, the right. captain would be here. Right here. Yo. This is sick. Can we turn it and get out of here? Oh, it's locked See, too. It's locked up too. We're gonna break the boat, bro. We can't break the boat. Oh, look at this, look at this. Yup. London, 1901. Oh, there's no bell thing on the bottom. Damn it. I'm excited to do this ship. What up, guys? Everyone's here. I was upstairs roaming, pretending I was a pirate. Standard. Discovery. Markham wanted this boat especially to go to the Antarctic for expeditions, to seek out the whales, to find out how many there were, and to make sure there was enough so that we could still continue to kill them. Um, before that was done, the, this ship was built here in Dundee, just 
500 yards down the road by the shipbuilders. Before they left, one of the guys, Charles Bonner, decided that he was going to go up to the middle mast and say farewell, but he stood on top of the crow's nest and fell to his death. So that was a very sombre Christmas the only departure. Is then they went on their expedition. Adventure take place like the day. 1901. They went up to the Antarctic. They had 49 crew on this boat. A lot of fights, yes, definitely a lot of fights. Small areas, as you can see, the yeah. cabin areas are very close, very Because this side class is luxury. This is. This is, oh, luxury. Yeah. This is. And then when you go through to the crew, it's tiny and small and compact. Small cots. So would the higher ups sleep in this area? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This, this is, is all like the captains and lieutenants. And yeah. So like, was it more of just they didn't get along or was it just because of the conditions? I think everything it came into it. it. Yeah. Personality clash, starvation. People wanted to be bigger than others. And Men. somebody got more <laughs> respect. Shackleton. Than the other one. Who was huh. Scott? They, I assume, had like a falling out. Big time, yeah. Because mm -hmm. then all the crew. Did Scott tried like, to get rid of Shackleton because Shackleton was more popular. I mean, like when you say get rid, you mean like. No, he wanted them away from the crews. They went on an expedition when they were in the Antarctic, mm -hmm. and he came back with a lot of ailments. He was said to have been brought back by sledge. He couldn't physically walk. He, he couldn't wasn't walk. Good enough. He, Oh, okay. He even said that he wasn't able to carry on his duties and then once he sort of recovered a bit then he, he was disclaiming that he, that was a lie, that didn't happen. Markham deleted all his entries out of his books to show that it never happened. So Markham was, he was the one who handpicked all the yeah. The crew. So he handpicked 49. So there was 49 crew members. A lot of them died. A lot of them died, but we don't know. We don't know There's no how numbers. They were. Markham died. But it wasn't on the ship. He died the day after. He, he was reading a book in his bed, and then the candle lit his bed on fire because it was made of like horse hair and stuff. stuff. It just it just went. And on. that happened in on the boat. Yeah, on his, in his room. And he died. Off. He died. And he died off. The boat. So I mean, it's probably safe to assume that like a lot of the crew died of you know frostbite yeah. and the hypothermia and all. Blasted out the ice. The boat had to be blasted oh, out of that. It was yeah, stuck. Well, yeah, they, they got stuck there for two years, so they were only meant to be out for two a year. Years? Two, two years? Two years, bro. Bro. Imagine you're going on an adventure for one year, you know you're going to come back, and you get stuck out there for two years, freezing your ass off. How were they able to escape because they were trapped for so long for two years? A boat went up and they were blasted out. Another boat came? And, yeah, yeah another boat them. went up to rescue them and blasted them out with dynamite. How did they oh, get they the word out? Like, yeah, that's what I was just going to say. What was the distress call? Probably got a, one of them. Morse code. Morse code. Oh, okay. Got sent to the Royal Navy, didn't it? So it was used in World War One. Oh, wow. wow. So that they could export things. Machinery, them. ammunition, that's cool. stuff like that. I it know. was also used as a supply ship. It transported furs. Also transported a live bear to Edinburgh Zoo. Not bad. Um, mm -hmm. It had then, loads of things on it as well, yeah. like sheep and stuff like that. So it was a lot more than just, yeah. you know, Arctic research. Yeah. Right. This is what it was built for. So there's a lot of a history lot. on this on this ship. I mean, it's over 100 years old. Yeah. And not just that, I think two years of residual energy embedded in the wood from the time they were stuck here. Yeah. Exactly. So it it's, could be full of energy, it could be active. Is there anything we should know, like for Han like, that you didn't tell us yet. Apparently like, there's a lot of poltergeist. Things do move about. There's seemingly a lot of movement and things like going on in room. that room. Apparently a woman spoke to a man for the whole time she was here and she didn't realise that nobody else could see him. Holy Whoa. shit. Yeah. When we've been on the boat doing Ooh. our ghost hunts, we've witnessed sounds, noises, things moving. What would you say is your favourite place to investigate on ship? In the rooms. Crew rooms. In these rooms? I like Out there. The other ones? Okay. It's very tense. tense. Mm. Well, it, I mean, it would make sense because of, you know, all the... The animosity, animosity. and the fights. Yeah. All right. Maybe we should just adventure then. I think Find it out for ourselves. I think so. Just see what... Uh, Old school exploring style. Yeah. 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 I'm down. See what calls yeah. out to us, you know? Yeah, I kind of miss the old school explorer style. So now we are leaving. Right there was the place where we just met up and talked about the history, the headquarters. And now we're leaving that to Labass. Not sure what that is. Can you tell us what Labass is? I mean, I could, but I don't think he, he monetized. Yeah. Oh, ass, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know Labass. It's like an experimental thing that 
I love do. lab ass. Yeah. We'll check it out, yeah. lab ass. How do you not know what lab ass is? I don't actually don't know. Is it what is it actually then? Do you know what it is? I, I don't know. Do you, do you know? know? I know what it is. Cool. What is it then? Well, guys, leave it in the comments for them to find See? out. What's ah. that guy? <laughs> this table is the one. They would perform amputations. Mm -hmm. Amputations. Ah, uh, here we time. go. Is. So this is table. probably a hot spot. Yeah, think yeah. about that. This probably. Table, right? I mean, we don't know if they died. Yeah. But just the reason. Hundred percent. Nah, know. dude. Some of them definitely died here, and it's just not recorded. In, in over a hundred years of history, only one recorded death on this boat. Yeah. Was bound to be more. Well, no. They, well, they did. Right. No, they. No, they said. They said that they. they their crew. Half their crew was kind of gone. They didn't say yeah. what. They just said half their crew did not come back. So right. I know right. they definitely died here for sure. Right. Like they, it's just not recorded. They, they had to have had more than just one death oh. on the boat. Yeah. 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 Is that the right point? A dangerous expedition like that. Getting stuck for two yeah. years. Yeah. Like it's, it's like a story that you. you like a conspiracy story. Yeah. You know, half of them came, didn't come back because of frostbite and stuff. They probably killed each other. And, and, uh, I think years. they ate each other, bro. I'm not even joking. I mean, I'm not even trying to switch the history up. They never have probably had two years worth of food. Well, think of, no, it's three years they were away for. They were stuck for two years. Mm -hmm. Took them about six months to get there, six months to get back, two years stuck. Yeah. So, three years worth of food, I don't know. They didn't have that much. I don't know. They, these are questions that we gotta ask. The ghost, yeah. Ooh. Either way, this is probably some of the cabin crew, I'm assuming, right here. They would sleep up there. So definitely a dodgy, you know, creepy area right now for us. They just they had a dartboard. And they're playing cards. And he looks like he's really happy because he's gonna win. Fred over here is smashing on James Wellington. The third. James Beef Wellington. James B. Yep. James Beef Wellington. That's probably right. She's going to be upset because it's, yep. it's 20 past 11. Yeah. But we have to call her up. Right now, everyone's been tweeting us about trying Sunday dinner for the first time, and we're actually home on Sunday with nothing to do. So we're going to try to get her to oh. make Sunday dinner. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, we're back on Sunday. You know what Sunday is, right? Well, you're back on Sunday what? Yeah, we're back on Sunday, this Sunday. Right. And, and what happens on Sunday? I don't know. We have Sunday dinner. Oh, fuck. Hold on, let me check my diary. You oh. offered on the yeah, live stream. You said that you would make us Sunday dinner. Yeah, no, but I didn't say when. You, but, but it's Sunday. Oh, I know, but this is. When, a, when's the next time? That's, that's the only time. Who knows if we're even gonna make it out of there alive? Exactly. So we need something to dinner. Well, but, anyway, uh, mum, we're filming. We're filming yeah. you actually right now. So. What? Yeah. Yeah. So can you make us uh, Sunday dinner? No. Well, it'll have to be earlyish because I'm working Sunday night. Right, okay, that's thanks, good. Mom. Thanks. Right, she said, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're in the kitchen, bro. My favorite place. This was like the medicine area, right? Yeah. And it's near the food. Ain't that a little like unsanitary? That I don't know. It's a bit weird. I mean, that guy looks like he's dying. Oh, I didn't see him, bro. And that guy, he's getting injected. Well, there's a rat, a black plague rat ah! in the kitchen, bro. It's not no ratatouille rat, that's for sure. Well, he's cooking up some beef stew. I do like beef stew. Are you sure it's beef stew? I don't know. It looks like it. Yo, is this beef stew? Yeah, it's beef stew. I told you. The men. No, we're men. I can't do anything. We're men. I changed my underwear. Oh, I remember. Well, a lot of coal was stored up here. Whoa, dude, this shit's bigger than we thought. It goes up here. This is the engine. 450 horsepower. I don't know, dude. I feel like we're gonna get some some stuff up here. Yeah, all yeah. of a sudden, now I'm feeling like yeah. this could be a hot spot. Yeah. Like, this, I'm actually feeling something. This is where the most danger would happen. I mean, you've got people, you've got guys in the coal chutes loading the engine on right. you know, machinery. This is the kind of place where accidents will happen. Catch it! No! I didn't catch it! All right, all Can right. Can you do that again, please? Could you put a little bit more of your energy into it again, please? Oh, oh just went like blank that. yellow. Uh -huh. And dude, this is mine. Oh, oh it's whoa, whoa. red. Oh, dude. Already? Already activity. That's mine. That's yours? That's mine. So that's legit. that never goes off. Never. Just so you all know, you've been watching me. That never goes to red. Oh, oh my God. It's going crazy. Dude, now it's going. Whoa. It's so constant. And the crazy thing is he's just turned all the power off as well. So guys, now we are starting the investigation on, on Beyond Dark and I want to just bring up a few things. First off, subscribe to the channel again. If you're new here, this is the first RSS Discovery ghost video. I'm pretty sure on entire the entire YouTube website. And if it ain't, we're probably the first Americans to be doing a ghost video here. And again, this is Beyond the Dark production, like I'm saying. And I'm super excited. We just turned the lights off in this building. And really quick, I do want to point out, I can only turn off so many lights because of safety issues so some lights will be on like right here some will be off it's just how it goes what's going on it's amazing watch when, when do you ever see two of these go off at the same time watch now it's not going off because i'm feeling oh there it goes oh. tell you now this place it's gonna surprise us yeah tell you now it's I gonna surprise it us oh music box one just went off 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, and I get Whoa. Is that detecting me? No. All right, guys. We are now fully set up. First off, in this room behind me, we have Cat Ball. Both, both, both of them both just went off at the same time. Both of them going. Catch that camera, but both of them we heard both. Look, we're, we're all over here on this side. There's a music box facing Music box the facing that room. Music box facing the captain quarters. And that was at the same time. At the same time. That will not That's crazy. Me. Did you get that? Well, yeah, we're just setting it up. Yeah. Music box here. Two EMF meters right here. And the EMFs here, are going off. They're going off. Both of them, simultaneously. Both. Yeah. You never see that happen. Yeah. We have a REM pod in there. All right, we're ready. I'm Let's just start. Trying, I was just trying to show you guys everything, but it's like, dude, there's so much actually happening it's already. Actually, so. We're to make it start, yeah. But there's so much going on. Yeah. So we can't even start. Oh. oh. The K2s went off at the same time. Guys, someone just walked in front of the table. Holy crap. K2s are still going off. Already? How, how's this possible? Already? Dude, we haven't even we haven't even asked. We haven't even introduced ourselves. Nothing. Yeah. Oh, let's do that before yeah. I even do an, uh, uh, an EVP. Hey guys, I'm Josh from the United yeah. States of America. I'm with my three friends who are going to also introduce themselves. We're here to talk to you about a few questions about what happened during the Arctic expedition. Hi, my name is Seth. I'm also from the United States of America. I think it was very brave what all of you did during your expedition to the arctic i know you probably knew how dangerous it was when you stepped foot on this ship and i'm sorry that you suffered for two years trapped in the ice we're here to communicate with you we don't mean you any harm <gasps> that's mine in the captain's room that's mine in the captain's room that's hello captain snack. i'm just here to conversate with you and your crew if anybody wants to communicate with us and tell us about your expedition, about your struggles here. Please feel free to tell your story. Thank you. I'm hearing yeah, vibrations. There's something something. over there. Oh my God. It got there's some something moving. moving. It is freezing over there. One of the, maybe the chairs. Okay. We're on an old ship, so we have to keep that in mind too. What was that? Was that a growl? I don't know what that was. So Dude, there's sounds going on everywhere. Oh, <gasps> Yo. There's someone there's something walking yeah. in there. Yeah, 100%. I think it's, Bro, there's some I think it's the captain. There. What's his name? Malcolm, right? Hello, my name is Steve. We're here on a road trip. We learned all about you guys earlier. We know how tragic it is and what happened. If you want, we would like to learn from you guys because we admire your bravery. It's so tragic of what you guys went through being stuck in an Arctic. If you would like to communicate with us, feel free to do it. We would love to hear about your experiences. <gasps> Well, as soon as you said that, there's someone in the captain's room. Is that you, Mark? There's someone in the captain's room. My name is Dan. I mean, you no harm at all. I've come to admire your ship and hopefully help you if you need it, talk to you about the expeditions you've been on. It must have been amazing to see some of the stuff you've seen, but also must have been super tragic. So feel free to walk out of the captain's room or your room and come and join us. If you can walk out now and set that device off, so we know that you're coming out. Dude, he's literally walking out. No, it's not, the daft device didn't go off though. It's Maybe like he's, he's like already he's out. No, it's not. Well, he could be actually. He could just be walking around us right now. That's true. It is so cold right here. It got really cold. It's dude, really I'm feeling the breeze. I'm feeling, I'm literally feeling breezes. Yeah, dude. These K2s haven't stopped going off since we sat oh, down. Oh, oh, there you oh, go. Oh. Is there anyone in here right now? Oh. <gasps> Would you like to come sit with us? There's some empty chairs right here. Feel free to come sit and talk with us. What the f is that? to me because you see that one one yeah. of them went off first and then the next like yeah. an energy passed through it yeah i think there's so much activity going on right now we need to do an evp i'm down 100 percent. yeah i'm down let's do it okay dr60 yeah okay. is captain scott here is shackleton here is markov here what happened during the arctic How many of your men died during the expedition? Is that you letting us know that you're here? 
If it is, you can talk to us here now. That is creepy. I swear to God, there's someone walking around in there. I just saw a shadow. Bro. Are you serious? Bro, put the light on it. Well, that is the no, most No, put no, put the light on it. Well, that is the most there's something room. inside there. I'm telling you now. Oh my God. You saw what? It. Yeah, I saw a shadow playing as there. I believe you, bro. They said there's even poltergeist stuff if we go in the, the captain's room. But that's for last. That's the first time I've seen something like that. I mean, that's oh my god. My it's going off. Dude. It's literally sensing something walking inside there. It's making my eyes water. Should, it, should we just listen? Sixteen? I don't know. Sure. Yeah, it kind of sounds him. like sixteen. I feel like we should ask on urine. I'm assuming there could be some yeah. ghosts because it obviously it's like real life. So I have to sit in front of it to talk. Yeah. So if you ask on your end, right. if there is a ghost or spirit, I've got a this. better idea. What? Seriously, there's something in that room. Why don't you just go and put it in the room now? Press record. And Owens, and come back here, and we'll shout the questions. How about we do it? Are you dropping in though? All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Yes. That way it's undeniable if something happens. It's true. How about this? I'm gonna take that a step further. I'm gonna ask permission and see if something goes off. Watch this. Watch and learn, kids. Footsteps. There's footsteps so all over this fucking place. Excuse me, Captain. Is it okay if I come into your quarters and drop off this device so we can speak to you? If it is, can you set off one of the devices in this room? Oh my god. Bro, I'm so jumpy right now. Oh my god. That's, That's legit. It actually worked. Bro, yeah, you guys know my music box is legit. You guys know yeah, that. I'm not coming with you, Seth. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to stay right here. Hell no, I ain't going over there. All right, Captain. I'm, Good luck. I appreciate your your permission. I'm going to come over and drop this off in your room. Now, watch After. how close he's got to get to that device on the other side. Took it out the right door. Still not going off. There you go. It's right inside the room. I told you. Bro, there's someone inside that room. No. I, I saw a shadow you clean there. Though. I swear to God. Oh, that's not Wait. even us anymore. Oh wow. Uh oh. Yo, he's, he's probably standing next to the voice recorder now, and it's like maybe picking him up. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, it is. Wow. I think you're dead ass right. Are you mad that we're down here? If so, tell us. Do you like Shackleton? Captain. How many of your men died during the expedition? Is that you knocking over there? Or is that one of the crew crewmen? What was that voice? What was the voice out loud? Captain, do we have permission to explore your ship? Is there anything you'd like to t tell us? If there is, now's your chance. Now, if you finished over there speaking into the device, <gasps> something touched, something is in like that the room. kitchen or or. In that room, guys. If you finish with that device, could you please walk out of your room so we know you're gone? <gasps> oh my no! god! You oh, my god. oh my god! That's f oh crazy. my god! <laughs> you can't f that up. Got, you, you can't make no, that no. up. Oh. I want to get the bush That's exciting. All right, all right, go ahead. Oh my god. Thank you, Captain. I just want to come with you to get okay, it. Okay, cool. We have to get it. I just have it. Okay, let's bring it back to base. All right, move, Captain move, Scott, move. thank you. And the fact that we're getting intelligent communication right. with that device Very is incredible. Yeah. Look, there he is again. It's like, it's like you asked, are you done speaking with us? He walked out to let us go in and then right. went back into his room. Oh, yeah. you're right. That makes yeah. total sense. This is say thank you. Um, thank you for letting us know about that as well. Really appreciate it. Uh, we're just going to listen to what you said now. So how thank do you, you, how do you play it? Right, I got you. Ready? Yes, it is the crew. It is the crew. Hang on. It is the crew. It is the crew. You can't make as day. You can't make that up. Yes. Yes. This is solid evidence. I saw him in there, so that's why I was like, I just know he's gonna walk out. Yeah, you said you saw it, and all of that happened after. Uh huh. 
Wow, guys. This stuff is no joke, guys. That was awesome. Yeah. It's not gone off since. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Not asking it to. With your permission, would you allow me to take a photo like, like this one here? If you would like me to take your photo, could you make that music box go off again? I don't want to be rude and just walk in and take a photo, but if you don't want your photo taken, could you please set the music box off so I know to put it away? Maybe he's not even here right now. Could have just left. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa, oh, that, was that was a door shut. That was a door shut. Shutting. Unless that's the captain leaving here. To right when we there. said that he might not even be here. He I could know. be gone already. Down there, or could be a crew member. This whole ship could be freaking haunted at this well, point. Is there anyone here at all? Could I, if there's anyone here, not just the captain, a crew person, could you set one of the devices off so we know there's someone here? I see that go off from here. Oh, oh Maybe he's just like, I've answered the questions. I've answered the questions. Okay, I'm going for a bit now. Yeah, mm -hmm. taking a little break. I mean, that was solid. Mm -hmm. That was so I've solid. I've never seen anything. And then the door wrong. just shut somewhere down there. Well, here's a good thing. We know he might have. He, he, he allowed us permission to explore the ship. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't point. being a dick to us. What? No, 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 he was a nice. He actually yeah. sounds really yeah. polite. Yeah. He straight up wants to communicate. Yeah, yeah. He really does. And wants us to explore and figure out what happened here. I just can't believe that, bro. Dude. That was the best evidence so far on this trip, I think. No, no, 100%. No. Right. I'm telling you now, I saw his shadow. And then I knew for a fact when I was going to ask, he was going to come out. I just knew it. Yeah, dude, like when you uh, said you seen the shadow, and it, and it walked out, the, the music box even went off. Like, you can't even make that up. I am always amazed when I ask the direct questions, like, do I have permission to go in your room? Yeah. If so, give me a sign. And it literally did. Like, stuff like that is just so unbelievable. Yeah, it's like when you get that, you know ghost. Like, this is why we ghost hunt. Yeah, for like, things like that. This is the proof that there right. is an afterlife. Yeah, but bro, think about it. There was, it wasn't going off. <gasps> oh. He's, he maybe came back? Oh my god. He, he maybe came in his room? We're just yeah. sitting here talking. Yeah, about him. I was saying it wasn't going off. And then I'm like, asking questions. And I'm like, if you're done, please walk out of the room. Boom, it goes off. Yeah. How do you explain I know. that? That's true. How? And then you seen the shadow. No, I saw the shadow before. Oh. That's why I knew to ask. I know, I want to get his Polaroid picture so bad. I know, but Well, I'm he's not, back in his room. I'm not doing Maybe it without permission. Now. I'm not doing it without permission. Yeah, no, that's true, just in case he... He's been super respectful to exactly. us, so we have to reciprocate that energy. Holy no, true. crap, that was a cold breeze. Well, cold breeze for sure. Oh I felt God. that cold breeze, bro. Maybe it's a lot. they're coming back in, or maybe, I don't know. Uh, if there is anyone who's walked back in, in here, could you let us know by setting one of the devices off, like the music box? Captain, please can I come and take a photo of inside your room? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Was that like yes, you think? I think yeah. I was confirming, yeah, you can. Okay, I'm gonna come now. Yo. We got your back, bro. Down yeah, there, please. And I'll get a good photo for you. Take a photo. Oh my god. I've never experienced anything like this in my life. This is the most credible evidence I've ever seen. If I was even a slight bit of a skeptic, I am not anymore. Oh, good, good. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Dude, every time me and Seth are together, we will make people believe something about us is like crazy for capturing ghosts. All right, guys. We're now moving out, drinking some Red Bull. It was intense, Dan's still flipping out at that scene. I'm calling it like a scene or a bit, but I mean, it's legit, it's, like insane. It, it, what do you what do you call that? Like the communication I don't know. was just so perfect. I know, I know. Right, what we take with us? Um, everything we can fit in our hands. All right, obviously now you can see it's light up. It's all lit up, I mean, fucking hell. Obviously you can see it's lit up. We can't shut the lights for this part. I hope it doesn't like ruin the ghost activity because what we got was amazing, but we can't switch this. This has to stay lit for safety reasons. We are in a museum still, but this is it. I'm gonna drop this stuff here. I'm gonna shut this amazing heater for this one part. This room potentially yep. contain some negative energy. I think Not so. negative energy in the way that like, you know, demons or anything yeah. like that, but negative, painful energy yeah. because like- Agonizing. You know, agonizing, yeah. Pain that people this don't like here. Damn, this is where they literally yeah. would, like amputate the people that the had bodies. frostbite and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the thing, it's like- Is it still going? Yeah. All right, we're just setting up now and already the K2 is going off. Oh, it was going off really good. It was at almost like orange. I know. That was incredible. Oh, there they are. Oh, there you go. That one. 
The K2s here are amazing. The energy it's detecting. I can't believe this. It's like they're just bouncing back and forth from one to the other. Yeah. Can you so. set the other one off, please? This one, the one I'm pointing to. Could you set that one off for me? Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. As you said it. And the, and the other one's going to red. Why is it going off, dude? What's triggering it? If this is really you, could you step away from the devices, just for a second? Can you leave the table? Just get off the table really quick. No, they're they're just dude. So for right here, guys, we should give them space. So if this goes off, it's not us at all. Just to 100% confirm, you know how technology is. I'm like dead serious about the EMF readers. And like, I really truly believe they've been going off and it's not us at all. And it hasn't been. I'm gonna do like a like a sound off. Think about it. If you're like a crew member and you know, you wanna play cards, be like, all right, everybody gather up, you know. Let's, exactly. Let's, let's do it. So I'm just gonna quickly just just shout out left like that we're gonna play cards yeah boy right, fellow crew members we're going to the to the bunks we're gonna play a game of cards if you want to come and play cards come to the bunks we can gamble a little bit in our free time who's here and wants to play cards with us we're on your ship from the united states this is a good way to get along with each other red i have that yep. camera on. that's the same sound i heard earlier like a door, that's a like door opening and closing that's the i'm assuming the next door from the kitchen. kitchen can you bring the food we're waiting for it we're sitting on the table right next to the bunks going it's going it's going both at the same oh, time oh, oh red. 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 Yep. red i see oh my probably, you, i've never seen this in my whole life bro they never both went to red at the same time for a very long duration this might be the best like Was emf evidence ever bro it was right after you asked for the chef to bring food over i know big dude when i was at cory and we did a video he brought up the food thing and it always works and triggers them or cigarettes spirit all right box spirit time. box session let's try to talk to them like playing cards talk about beer talk about whatever i know artica i heard you speaking on the spirit box before josh got in here can you say hello my name is seth can you tell me your name Help? Help. Help in girl's voice. Are you trapped on the ship? I said yes before I even asked yeah, the question. Yeah, that was in a guy's voice. Are you the one making the noises? I just heard footsteps yeah, around the ship. Running around in there. Is that you walking around? Yes. Yes. Can you tell me your name, please? Simon? Simon? I don't know. Joel? Joel? Billy? Billy? Three different names we're in one. We're getting a sound off. Um, unless we're getting three different crew members still here. Simon, Billy, Joel. Are you members of the crew? What's in my name? I'm getting louder. I'm getting louder. Dude, I bet you there's like so many people that actually died on this ship that's not even recorded. I know. It wouldn't surprise me if they moved bodies as well. Or, this or injured yeah. soldiers, yeah. Same. Back in the kitchen. If you're in the kitchen, please come into this room. Were any of the crew members amputated on this table? No. Unless because this is obviously a new table. So uh, it happened here, but not on this exact table. That's it. That's it? That's yeah. what said. That's it. Did you die on this ship? Yes. Wow. Can you tell me the name of the ship we're on? I forgot the name. Is this the RSS Discovery? <laughs> it is. You heard that? Was that it or not? Did I say it is? Yeah, I almost heard something like said it. yes. Yes, it is yes. Yes. Yes, again. How many spirits are here with us? Six. Six. Oh. Did you enjoy your time on this ship? Yeah. yeah. Is Simon, Billy, or Joel still here? Billy. Billy. Billy, again. You said Billy. Yeah. Hi, Billy. Yeah. Hi, Billy. I want to try something right here. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely did catch a vibe in this room. Music box there. Music box here. If anyone comes here, they're good. REM pods on the stairs. REM pod here. I'm not exactly sure what I feel like doing here. Oh, that's a good one. By the barrel. So over here in the tip jar, I don't know if they're going to recognize the money. I'm putting a cat ball there, which I just turned on, and the EMF reader. Anything can go off there. That'd be cool. I'm not sure how I feel like doing this or how to act. Already? Oh, in, oh my God. I wasn't sure if the cat ball was already going off. That's why I didn't say anything. I wasn't looking in that direction. No, but you've seen the K2 going off too. Yeah, so maybe the cat ball went off as well. 
Do you like what you see there? The money? I can get you some more of that money. Okay, you just spiked again. Does it make you happy that people are donating their money to help save the ship? We can give you a lot more money in gold and coins. Do you want some more of that? Capo golf. Cap golf. Yep. Wow. You scared me. Obviously, to make a capo golf, you gotta literally shake it. Just so you know. That's our first cap. Oh, yup. We've had almost every device go off tonight. Legit. Apart from the ram pod. To really confirm it, let's put her. Oh, even the EMF will go off though. And the K2 going off. Yeah. So EMF is K2, by the way, for my viewers. Oh man, I want that REM pod to go off. We had every device go off honestly, except the REM pod. Honestly, I think the only, only chance we've got it going off is in the captain's the room. We leave it in the captain on his, on his chair or on his bed. Maybe okay. we can talk to the captain and potentially figure out oh my God, what yeah. happened to the crew. Yeah. yeah. Let's go and do it. Let's do it? Yeah. I'm yeah. down. Let's do it. Okay, Let's do it. The whole thing. Oh, guys, we, we just got back in here and we see Dan's thing on yellow. And just to bring that up, we've never seen Look, that yellow. Off. And now, what now? Oh my god, I don't oh even my know. god. As soon as you walk past, it went back off. So, somebody was here. I think someone was here and you just pushed him out the way. Yo, someone could have been waiting for us, like the captain. Yo, yeah, someone's on the chair. Yeah. Guys, what? Did someone move the pants in that room? No. no. What do you mean? Where are they? It, it used to be like hanging up, right? You yeah, guys, you come picture of them, right? Yeah. yeah? It's not anymore. What? I'm not even kidding you, bro. The pants is on the oh bed. Oh my god, the pants aren't hung up anymore. Bro! Guys, we have photo proof. Your Polaroid shows the pants hung up. The oh, pants- oh, the, Yo, I'm getting goosebumps right now. The pants aren't hung up anymore. They're not on the hanger. You're, those were- those were hung up. Right? Yeah, because I've got a picture yeah. of them. So, look, none of us did that. They- We ended up- Oh, well, actually, we do have Holy to show them crap. the pictures now. Okay, I told you. I 100% not a skeptic anymore. No. I 100% believe. All right, if you look very quick, you can see right there, there's the pants. They're hung up, and now they're not in the photo. Obviously, we had no camera to show or prove that the pants were hung up or not. That's the sad part. We should have left a camera in there. But we weren't we even thinking. Never even think that that I would, would never happen. think that because it got quiet and we ended up leaving. Yeah. We took the photos and we left. Guys, just really quick, I just want to say like we've been filming a lot of ghost videos. We've had almost everything happen to us now between the scratches, uh, moving around things, the baby dropping off the cradle in the dark uh, of the toy room video. Um, this ain't nothing new to us anymore. I'm almost getting, not numb, but I'm still getting really excited. It's just like, we don't have a camera in that room. And I think about the video and the viewer a lot, because as a viewer, I'm like, yeah, you're fake. You're fake, that's a fake thing. But honestly, none of us was there, but we can't prove that. Sometimes I'm like, I almost don't even want to leave it in the video because like, I know you guys are gonna call it out. I'm still gonna leave it in the video because it's legit. I mean, well, what something. if we just leave a camera in there now? Well, that's what we're gonna try to do. Just wait. That's Hello. the whole reason why we even came here. We're gonna try to get, dude, if we can get a REM pod or one of these to go off, oh my God, I would be so happy to end this. This would be the perfect, I'd, I'd walk out of here done. Yeah, show, let's show them, the viewers. Uh-huh. So push it like, so literally. Oh, whoa, 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 it, whoa. whoa. That's not us. You don't want me to touch the pants? That uh, is not us. And you're touching the pants as. I'm sorry. And now the room's shaking. You're it feels like the room's shaking. We're also all in here without his permission. Well, there you go. There you Captain, go. I'm really sorry. That's the REM pod gone off now. I'm just putting I'm your pants sure. back up. And that was it. All right, let's bounce. Yeah, let's go. I love, I love ghost hunting. I mean, I actually, I just freaking love ghost. It's, really the evidence is too good. We just set the room up, guys. You're gonna obviously see on his camera view of how the room's set up. Got REM pods there, REM pods on all the beds. Music boxes. Music box down there. Now we'll just kind of leave. Oh. He's like, yeah, he's like standing at his door. I don't know who that. I don't know. I could. I don't know. No, mine's no, going off. Going there. off too. Wow. Mine's going off. That's how you know. All right. So we should probably get in our room. Mine yeah. Is there? All right. Let's just get into a room. Should we each take a room though? We have to each take. Oh, what was that? What was that? That's mine. Oh, it's mine. <gasps> Yours is going Yo. off. What's beeping? My, my, my finger. Your REM pod's going off in here, bro. Who's super? REM pods. Yes, so REM pod. I can hear it right now, guys. So much. We can't even leave the room. You mean my REM pod's yeah, going yeah, off? Yeah, yeah, I heard it. It was, it was like a dick, dick, Like. Get a picture. Yeah. REM pod's going off? Do the REM pod keep my, me my, Mine's going off as well. What's going on, the REM pod? 
my my music box. Oh, music box. We're getting super excited. Apparently, Seth said he heard the REM pod go off. I swear. Swear. All right, so we're gonna see it in that. We're gonna have to leave. We're just gonna roam to another room. We're gonna ask a lot of questions. I'm taking one of these K2s with me. Okay, me just, too. I'm just curious, man. Okay. All right, I'm going in uh, Shackleton's room. We're all in the rooms, Captain. Can you sit in your bed? Captain. That's your room, huh? Is it? I can hear it from here. Can you sit on your chair in your room? Captain, can you move something in the room? Steve, touch your pants. Not me. It's true and I'm sorry. You know what I want to do? Now that we know mine works, I'm going to shut mine off so we can hear more inside. We already know he's there, but I'm just going to do it. There's so much activity. Mine's super loud. Okay, I turned mine off. Captain, are you still in there? That's your room pod, bro. Could we shut this light off? I think it might help us. Captain, please go to your room. No offense, Josh, I don't think he's gonna listen to you. What's <laughs> wrong, Let me know you're still in your room and I'll make Shackleton disappear and make him off the ship. Somebody just sat down on the bed behind me. I heard the bed move. Holy f Captain, are you with Seth right now? Oh my god. Somebody in this room with me. Do you want us to come inside your room? <gasps> what? What's that? What's that? I asked if somebody's in this room with me and the K2 spiked red. And you got it? And that, yeah, and that was after I heard the bed moving, bro. I'm telling you, there's somebody in this room with me. Right, we're going back towards your room, Captain. Can you set something off while we're all stood together? What the That's hell? That's not Seth. No, no, it's not me. I'm right here. Where did it come from? I have no idea. I don't know. It's like a dash run. That ah. went through there. Unless it was a dog. Remember, they say the dogs run around. Did somebody just whistle? I heard a whistle. Captain! There might be a mutiny on the ship if you don't come back to your quarters. I hear people are conspiring against removing you as captain. The f what the f It sounds directly above us. What the f is that? Let's go up. Somebody's just walking. Let's go on deck. I mean, I mean, if we get the REM pod actually going off, like, it, like, like we heard it. I know I did hear something. That would be so good. Dude, oh, you took good. photos. I remember. Yeah, they're still developing. Oh, we have to, we have to check those. I really want to catch something moving on camera on the night vision. I mean, we've been trying, but now it's dead. I mean, I'm really happy with what we got, even if we called it right now. It happens, dude. We went through a lot. Went through a lot on this ghost journey, for sure. Okay, Captain, we're gonna leave you to it. We're gonna start packing up our stuff. We'll leave some of the equipment there. If you wanna make contact again, feel free to. But if not, this is the last chance and we are packing up to leave. So guys, we're packing up. Like I said, we're getting out of here. It's, it's 3 a.m. kind of night. Just gonna end this here. Get ready. This is episode four out of 10. We're almost halfway done this trip. So I hope you've been liking this series. Shout out to everyone who's been watching. Like, subscribe, check out the merch. I'm wearing it under here. You just can't see. Oh wait, no I'm not. All right, so I'm wearing it under here and under here. So it's actually in the t-shirt. Just check that out. You can't even see it. You might. It might be a mystery to you. Rise above, just get out to explore. Peace and thanks for watching.